Alright, welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Had a little bit of a break, and we're ready to continue on. Alright. Is there anything else on this floor? This is Tor's room. Oh. Uh, well, maybe this is normal. Tor's room has been trashed. Okay, I guess, I guess maybe it's not normal. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? Uh, this place is a mess. That was a drunken something. Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Okay, well, I, I need to actually... Cynthia? Oh shit, Cynthia! What the? She wasn't over here before. Or this will put a maybe smile she was. back on your face, my dear. Sorry? Hello. I'm Saga. Cynthia Weaver. Hi, Cynthia. I'm looking for Tor Anderson. Have you seen him? Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for it. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Wow, that was a hell of a oh Pat? That was a hell of an assumption. Uh Pat, I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to reset, Pat. Pat, I need you to reset. Um Okay, Pat, listen, I'm gonna go we're gonna go ahead and close the door, okay? Alright. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. Pat's not, you know, feeling feeling too good, but <laughs> it'll be okay. Oh, this is what's taking up my ever get the hell out of here. I don't need all of that. Okay, so if let's see. Alright, so we have Tor's room here, there's Odin's room, and Donna. Mm. Donna! Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? Not yet. I thought not. But I can imagine. Sorry. It. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. That's okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything for me to take here. No? Alright, well, I'm not gonna close your drawer. You can do that yourself. That's part of your your physical exercise for today, Donna. Ooh, stewed beef. Eh, good for her. She's trying to keep her mind sharp. In her old age. Odin's oh. in bad shape. Oh. He was drunk and watery. You know, I can't. Or is this something more serious? I actually am like, my, my mind has been like swapping toward Odin. Um. <laughs> Can I take this? No, it's a dart. That woman in the painting looks like mom. Ah, shit. Anderson Farm. Was I born here? 1989. Is or that me? Or is this me? more of a story? We gotta accost Alan after all of this. I mean, there's really not a hell of a lot of point in doing it. Because Alan doesn't remember. Mandy May has the knit design been finding on the lunch boxes. Oh shit. Well, I mean, we <laughs> doesn't make sense. We should know it's uh, she just isn't putting together. It's Rose. It's got to be Rose. All right, but we got to keep this up. Okay. I, will, I hope that for Alan's sake, that at some point he gets 100% of his memories back. The... I hate the idea of, like, kind of, like, losing all of that. And never really fully being able... For him to never really be able to put the full picture together because of all of, like, the, the laps. 
to the dark place. One more here. <clears throat> Gotta make sure to keep up with all these. Nope, still can't do these. Alright. Odin? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? Whoa. He's in no shape to talk. I was about to say that looked like a profiling thing, and I guess it actually is. The Sea of Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one, for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye. In the light of the moon to shine and see the many worlds to madness and beyond. Across the dream dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree. I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before, and we will keep on meeting still. Oh, jeez. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the well of wisdom, the cauldron. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988, he who, t who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be writ again. He who stands on the threshold. Who's that? 1988? Wasn't that the time Warlin Door got taken? Or was that... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know my time. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. The power of what? Odin was really here. He's connecting with us. We were connected. Yeah. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Oh wow, well, this is a lot. Okay, uh, well let's let's keep going with I've that never connection. I've connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. <laughs> Wait, have you is not- Is the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? Is that what you've been One thinking? Time, this has been- Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. She's like magically bullshitted so many things. What, like thinking about people <laughs> that, they, you know, things that they haven't given us. They've given us like a little bit of information, but not enough. And then she just gets the complete thing from thinking. Like, of course you got a little like, oh my God. Saga, please. All right, look, we're, we're going to look more. I found a stuff. photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. You know, just because Odin says that they're not a part of the cult doesn't mean they aren't a part of the cult, right? Like if we if we had accused uh 
<clears throat> Mulligan and and Thornton, they probably been like, what, what what are you talking about? What what cult? You mean the ones in the the forest, the children's story? No. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world, but the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. Yeah, it's super important. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It no. wants to take him and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Oh, jeez. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. Dude, every single old person's getting so screwed over in this. Alright, we gotta put our case stuff away. Anderson Brothers, what's going on with the... Uh... Everybody else, look for Tor's room. He's in danger. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. He knows about the clicker. And the clicker can change reality. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Well... Not sure I have a choice. If we're lucky, we can watch over his shoulder first before anything happens. Cult of the tree. Tor. Uh, we That's can put this it. here. Not cult members. Confirmed cult members. All right, maybe maybe one more floor will help us out here. What's on the third floor? Mandy May's room. Oh, spiral room. Ati and Cynthia. Damn, this is a power. This is a powerful floor. Getting in is forbidden, ah. for your own safety. Hey, honey. For those who wait, but in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't there before. So you don't want me to go into the spiral room, or your room? That's fine. I'll um, I'll I'll just look at everything else around here. Oh, hey, some pistol ammo. Good. Good. Oh. Look at all this stuff from Mandy May. This is all this... I'm surprised we didn't get anything added. These are the things that we've been looking for. Whenever we're looking for Alex Casey lunchboxes. Uh, maybe we need to talk with Mandy May a little bit more. Maybe she knows about this stuff. I don't have the key. Norman. You see the guy with yeah, you think he's the guy who's currently using crutches and was at the sauna. Cynthia, damn it. All right. Yeah, I guess let's go talk to Rose. Huh? I can't talk to Adi. 
That's a shame. Maybe Rose can tell us about the Alex Casey lunchboxes. I'd like to. There's a lot in Bright Falls, and if I can get a map of them, that'd be sweet. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No. He's. Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just. There's some things that, uh. <sighs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Hey, you were just upstairs. Stop teleporting around like this. Uh -huh. That one almost snuck by me. <laughs> Message received, loud and clear. You can always count on your number one fan. <laughs> Rose. She's still thinking she's getting messages from Alan in random places. She could be. Alan could have been. He made a, a little thing like, and then Alec, or then Rose. Received Somebody messages. Here is Wake's number one fan. Rose? Yes, put it together. Do it. Let us ask her about it. Oh, there's a battery in here. Let me take it. Duh. Rose, do you know about the lunchboxes and have a map for all of them? That'd be really swell. So that I can continue to help Alex, or not Alex, <laughs> so I can continue to help Alan. Watch out. Whoa. Oops. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Ooh. You like blink and the little fucking light changes. Okay, just. Taking a look at things, Anderson Brothers, Wellness Center. Odin said Tor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Is there even a way to stop that? This picture of the Wellness day, uh, Center is, um, doesn't look good. It's definitely dark in there. I assume I can't, yeah, look at this. I can't open this with my bare hands. Well... We might be getting the bolt cutter soon. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and take this map. These don't sound too good in here. Maybe he's over in the rehabilitation area or the office. Be ready, Saga. Maybe we can bottle up all these moths and toss them at something. Ah, oh, another medkit. That's not good. I'm sure I'll find that. Oh, shit. Tor? Tor? Is that you? Are you beating it's things Saga up with your Anderson. hammer? You know, there should be a ton of medical supplies in this place. Yeah. I might need to use them. But we're, we're okay for now. we have here doc rose and me found mr anderson knocked out on floor by phone burns on hand and cut on head was out 
cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. Tor was here. He is VIP. VB. Who the hell's VB? He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Well, I mean, he's probably a little loopy. Maybe being taken heals him a little bit. It's okay, we continue looking around. Well, the, I really want a shoebox to stash stuff away. Oh, hello. Manuscript page. About the wellness center, maybe? Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. No! Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. He does remember that he called us. We gotta help him, but what do you mean we're bringing back Tom? Which Tom, too? Like, I don't... At this point, we just have to assume the Tom we side. ran into in the dark place is also trying to escape, but can we trust him? I don't know. What's over here in the dispensary? The save room? Nice. I do wish there was like a just a stash button, like I don't care where it goes, just put it away. You know, if you're already gonna have like a drop down box happen when we click on the things, which isn't even really that necessary, like, eh, it'd be good to have. How much stuff do I even have on standby? We've got seven med kits. Uh, three trauma pets, three painkillers. It's really not that much in comparison to Alan. Alan had like eight trauma pads. What was, uh, What's that about? Is someone in the examination room? Oh boy. Almost sounds like there's a wolf walking around in here. Hold on. Tor, wait! It's me! Tor! I should follow him. Tor! Oh, come on. Okay, well, never fucking mind, I guess. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Okay, we're gonna have to probably make our way to reception. Something's gotta break through one of these areas. <laughs> We're gonna go chill in the light real quick. Anything in the cooler? No? Not even a cold Capri Sun? Damn, I am. <laughs> for, for having an item that's supposed to give me more resources uh, as we find them. Not working out. 
Minotaur left the wellness center. The door is locked electronically. And also this. He's fighting the darkness. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Not taken. Dark presence manipulating him. Destroying him. Yeah, trying to use him. Maybe to make another reality controlling song. He might still have that latent power. Oh no, it's raining outside now too. So much for the flood waters going down. Oh, the security room. Bloom's workroom, private. This door needs a knob. I didn't expect that. They just straight up got rid a of the door. Security computer. Surely the thing we need is here. Vladimir Bloom, you have been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hollowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place during the day after the next few uh, next new moon, as is tradition. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Yeah, that makes sense. Although this is really funny. Imagine running an illegal cult and leaving like any documentation with your full names and also your signatures. Like, are you serious? They could have just been like, you've been accepted. Cult of the Tree welcomes you. Boom. No incriminating evidence. These guys are. <laughs> non intelligent. We're going to say this goes here. And then also Vladimir Bloom is also in this, whoever that is. The the random person who I'm assuming is the Russian they're talking about. Okay. Is this all going to be about Vladimir? Is Vladimir the security guard for this place? Oh, gosh. Do I need the code? Some dates are circled. I don't know. I didn't see the rest of that. What up? What what are, what does this say? Some dates are circled. Calendar shows phases of the moon. Why is that? Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Uh. Do Svidinia to the boring old Vlad. Is it supposed to be dot, dot, I don't actually don't run on Russian, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and ha ha herring to, to celebrate. Or herring. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I keep trying to, like, silence the H on some words. This month, everything will change. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Oh, and then who are you? Day, gathered? then month. He uses European formatting. Oh, okay. Bad day. This is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Old people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. I guess I should go take a look at the computer. Needs a password. Yeah. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. Desperate times? Oh my god! Vlad's got a cute puppy. A shame that puppy's probably gonna have to find a new owner after this. I don't even think we're gonna like arrest Vladimir. More than likely he's gonna just get taken out with everybody else. Okay, so we've got a password protected computer. The computer controls the door that Tor went through. So the computer password might be the day of the new moon. Have what I need to figure out the password. Day after the new moon. Okay. Day after the new moon is August 16th, so it's going to be August 17th, but he also uses European formatting, which is so rather than like the month being first, which would be like zero eight, 
one eight. It would actually be day first, I think. So it'd be one eight zero eight twenty three. One eight zero eight twenty three. Unless it's the new day period. All right. And the doors are open. Easy peasy. The doors are open. And that means everything else is going to be here. Riddle for your rifle. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet. Inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. This means nothing for me. <laughs> From Vladimir. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I'm sick of old people tricks. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. <laughs> then the unknown sender is just fucking with them. Oh my god. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Torn Odin would be ideal candidates for the cults. Please try harder to recruit them. Ah, oh, sounds good. All right, all right, all right. Vlad is yeah, I think they did mention Vlad. Well they mentioned they were trying There's to be recruited. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. Is this is this like recent after we just saw him going through the cafeteria? Oh jeez. It's okay, if I shine my flashlight on him enough, maybe he'll feel better. If I make him eat a flashlight, would that help him out? Okay, so hold on. Uh, yeah, okay. See, they said, because you have the, um... Oh, wait, 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 okay, no, that's my bad. That's... <laughs> alright, alright, alright. August 16th is the new moon. He has August 17th circled. And so I kind of just mixed them up in my brain. And I was like, oh, so the after the new moon, after the red circle is the 18th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense we're going to have to deal with some people. All right, hold on. Uh, there's supposed to be a rifle over here. I guess... We love. We have warm coffee to warm up your. Uh. Event Willy, you wait. <laughs> Ooh. Holy shit. Oh, wait, we're out in the front now. Okay. Well, we can worry about this later. So the riddle mentioned something about uh, going to an area where you greet and then like flowers. So maybe it means this little area here. Hey, wow, look at that. Easy peasy. All right. Would have found that even without seeing that riddle. Dog. The puppy's missing, dude. If you're missing a Dutch <laughs> little wiener dog, you're not finding that thing. Oh my god. It's so small. You just gotta hope for it to come back. We're gonna go this way, because I'm... Fairly certain. I'm going to need more space for that hunting rifle. So these trauma pads can go away, and so can this flare. Maybe I'll get rid of the trauma pad. <laughs> I don't know. Here's what I'll do I'm going to get rid of one of these. Just in case the rifle can take up an entire row. I, I re there's, it's so weird, cause like, we found two inventory expansion things pretty quickly. Shit! What the fuck is that? 
Launch a tornado at me? Oh boy! I don't. I don't. I don't. What? 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 what. What's happening? That was so weird. I guess that was all like an illusion or some shit where like his bottom half was being reflected by the top. I really hate the darkness nodes in this game. Fucking taking all my battery. It's okay, whatever. I'm gonna go get a rifle. We're gonna get some nice rewards. Doorknob. All right. Yes. We're fully armed. Some manuscript page? Oh, all right. That was gonna be a letter about how much the Vladimir likes his rifle. The cult storms the lodge. Wait. That's a little bit further ahead than where we currently are. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Koskula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Eh, all right. So obviously that that's referring to the attack that happened uh, during or well after return three slash four. It's just weird that it got put They're like so soft and sad under a different chapter name that's ahead of where we currently are. Alright. See how this one looks. Gotcha. <laughs> Something's getting blasted. Immediately. I'm carrying everything with me. Although I really hope I find an inventory expansion soon because uh, one slot to mess around with? Not good. Technically, no slots to mess around with because I should be carrying around my rifle ammo as well, but I'm gonna assume my rifle After you know after this is gonna be used more like Uh, like, oh, heavy enemy coming my way? Pull out the rifle. Oh, wait, speaking of which, I gotta fucking actually put this on a quick slot. Um... Yeah, fuck it, three. All right.
What I could do is I could put away like the bolts I'm carrying around. With Tor. Well, let's see. Were there any rooms I haven't been into? Because they were locked? I think this room over here. Investigation. Oh, I missed something. Whoa, hold on. You never know what kind of critical clue we might need. It probably was just something about, uh... Oh, that's creepy. Another manuscript page, but it's all, like, blotted out visually here. It'll be fine. Yeah, in our case area. But yeah, that, whatever we missed was probably just something about the computer. Gail Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole. An opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gale was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale's sacrifice to it. In blood. I see. That must have been Gale who we just killed then. <laughs> he was muttering shit about a black hole. Gale Barrows. Violent outburst resulting from rapid onset dementia should be restrained whenever possible until a dosage can be found that impedes his aggression. Was he getting violent before he started being taken over by the darkness? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we take a quick trip to the security room. What did I miss? That might actually just be it. Like, maybe over here? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. I think it's just a glitch spot on the the map. Keep it moving forward. I've got four rifle shots I gotta get rid of so I can clear up my inventory space. How much would the pill seal? A pretty good amount. I don't want to like waste heals. I wish it would show you if you're like over healing. Oh, this must have been Tors. Okay, how where 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 am I heading here? I guess just over here. But there's a point of interest in this area. TV. Information. Lost and found. Mittens and home. Uh, mittens homemade. A notebook full of daily meal plans. A nice fountain pen. An antique hair clip. Very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend, Rose. Okay. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a, a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you liked. I can make you a cup if you want. VB. Okay, so now we know who VB is. It's Vladimir. Uh, Bloom. I think I got the... Ammunition, although the ammunition I just got was in Gale's room, so maybe not. I, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, Cynthia. I'm going to shoot her head off. We have to free her from the darkness. She never would have wanted to be taken. It's the only way to be, you know, sure that she's freed from this madness. Is Tor in a pool? Come back! Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute! That water is bad for you! Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you! This kind of behavior is not okay! Let him go! Damn. 
Are they both gone? Oh. <laughs> Roses. <laughs> well, shoot. <laughs> Hey, Rose, are you doing okay over here? I guess Tor got snapped up. That's unfortunate. This little tiny pond, I thought this was a pool back here. <laughs> Overlap question mark? I guess so. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? What is fucking going on? Uh, not, not story-wise, but... My camera's got, like, this small vibration that's been happening for, like, the last... Five minutes or so. I need to go to a save point real quick. <laughs> Is there one up here in the lit up bodega? Somebody have some coffee out here? Can't open this with my bare hands. Just want to get that marked. I still have this stupid doorknob. There's too much shit that like gets used and then doesn't go away. What the? Hey, hey! Who was that? Adi? Emergency muster point. Whoa. What? The? Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Well, I'm happy to see you're, you're, you're lucid and not T-posing anymore. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Archie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the people who would be doing that are a little busy. Mandy May, are you alright? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh no, Mandy May. Oh no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just... Poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Uh, uh, that has me concerned, but all right. You guys, what's going on with Cynthia Have Weaver? Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Right. Well... You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. I am interested in this whole haunted bunker thing. But all right, what I really am interested in is stopping my camera from vibrating. point not a date <laughs> yeah no remember watch out she'll trip you on your crutch now obviously Adi is uh he, Adi's doing Adi things ah this room's lit up now finally put this away 
Nice to see that the stack can go so big. All right. I'm going to reload because I don't know what's going on with this whole vibration thing. It's not like super noticeable in this view. It's a little bit more like subtle because you have so much to like look at. But when we're like zoomed in on something, uh, that's when it like really <laughs> is noticeable. Let me see if I can find anything to like press F on. Like, this shouldn't be happening. Reloading.